You may have heard of the universe expanding. Is the expansion of the universe, same as any other increasing phenomenon? Is it really like a balloon expanding? And if it is expanding, what is it expanding into? Let's try to understand it in this video. My name is Mason, and you are watching the world of science. Let's dive back into history. Einstein gave the field equation, and proposed that space and time being one unified entity, its fabric can be changed, due to the presence of matter around it. When Russian physicist, Alexander Friedman solved the equation, he found out that the universe of general relativity will have two types of solutions, one expanding, and one contracting, depending upon the density of total material present in the universe. But Einstein on the other hand, was struggling with other problem related to same phenomenon. He also believed in the static nature of the universe, despite formulating relativity, that is the very antithesis of classical mechanics. But if universe is a static spherical ball of vastness, and everything is being pulled towards with force of gravity, wouldn't there be some point in future, that all matter fall eventually to the center of the universe, and universe will finally collapse? He was not willing to accept it, so he introduced a new mathematical constant in the equation, the cosmological constant, usually denoted by the Greek capital letter, lambda. This constant denotes some kind of negative gravity, that will push the incoming matter pulled down by positive gravity, and thus stabilizing the universe. Space is apparently filled with energy of quantum fields, and this energy has a uniform negative pressure. This negative pressure is responsible for the hypothetical anti-gravity. But in Friedman's solution, there was no need of any constant, and universe was already expanding. Einstein later dropped this insertion, and called it his biggest blunder, after Edwin Hubble observed the expansion of universe astronomically, and derived a mathematical relation for the same. Fast forward to 1979, physicist Alan Guth proposed his most famous theory of inflation. He was actually focusing on basic questions related to cosmos, such as, why is the universe so vast? Another question he was worried about was if the universe started with Big Bang, and is expanding ever since, no part of universe had ever been connected to each other, yet every part has same equilibrium temperature of 2.7 Kelvin, that is the temperature of cosmic microwave background radiation around the universe. His study showed that the Big Bang was followed by a period of rapid expansion, in which the universe inflated exponentially, and this smears out the irregularities, forming a homogeneous and vast cosmos. The volume of universe expanded by a factor of 10 raised to the power of 78, thus explaining the vastness, and this inflationary phase was not instantly at the point of origin, but in fact 10 to the power minus 32 seconds after the Big Bang. There was a limited time period, before this inflation started for every point in universe, to have certain time of connectedness, and were thermally at equilibrium. As it expanded during inflationary phases, the equilibrium remained, and hence cosmic microwave radiation is at uniform temperature, all over the universe. For inflation to happen, he proposed a new hypothetical scalar field called the inflaton field. This hypothetical field has a false vacuum state, with a large amount of vacuum energy, and this creates a negative pressure similar to the cosmological constant of Einstein, that will push the universe outward. Every vacuum state corresponds to the lowest possible energy present in that particular point or region, but as we know there is nothing called certainty at quantum scale, so there always exists certain possibility of having some non-zero states in some vacuum states, and those regions which have non-zero potential energy are called the false vacuum state. Since vacuum always tends to zero, to minimize the energy present in that region, space-time will expand. More there be the volume, less will be the density. At the beginning, there was only inflaton field, and as the universe expanded, this field decayed to produce the fundamental particles we know today. You may have heard about Higgs field. It has similar properties of being eternally present, and at false vacuum state. 
The particles interacting with the field gets Higgs field value, which can be interpreted as acquiring mass. Consequently, there are various proposals of treating Higgs field, and the hypothetical inflaton field as one and the same field, that originated at the Big Bang, then is expanding the universe, further decaying to form standard particles, and giving mass to them. Higgs was just a hypothetical particle since 1964, until in 2012 it was physically discovered. In 1998, astrophysicist Saul Perlmutter, along with his colleagues provided evidence that universe is not only expanding, but expanding with an acceleration. But what is causing this acceleration? Is there any extra energy present in the universe that is pushing universe away? The solution proposed that, there is some hidden energy, and it was named the dark energy. Interesting thing is that, the same cosmological constant that Einstein first added and then removed, can now finally be used. Although universe is expanding without the use of cosmological constant, it can be used to explain accelerated push. So was Einstein right? Yes, but not in the way he thought of using it. Assuming that standard cosmological model is correct, the best current measurements indicate that, dark energy contributes 68% of the total energy in the present-day observable universe. But the question remains, if universe is expanding, what is it expanding into? There is nothing in the universe that is expanding, neither you, nor me, and not even any heavenly bodies, but it is the space-time framework of the universe that is changing. Taking the balloon as an example, we are not outside the universe to observe it expanding, we are inside it. This posits new problems like, if universe is expanding unto itself, then universe must be infinite, and the answer for this is that, we don't know as of now. Some theories do give a solution, like string theory which presents a model of cosmology, containing multiple bubble universes in the hyperspace, so each universe can expand into the extra dimension available, just like cookies are baked in a microwave. This may be true, but we don't have evidences to prove that. In science, lack of evidence, doesn't mean the absence of evidence. Let's hope in some time in future, we get the answers, until then, we can keep wondering. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below your thoughts, about the Big Bang, and expansion of our universe. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up, and share this with your friends. Do check out other videos on our channel. Make sure you subscribe the world of science for more such interesting videos. Until next time, stay scientific.